on day 1400. Welcome to another daily vlog. I'm Dr. Erica and I have lost and kept off 60 pounds for over three years through intermittent fasting and also through exercise. I also like to help encourage and motivate you while you're on your journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, sis, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family. Girl, I promise you'll love it here. Today is Sunday, May the 12th. Happy Mother's Day, and I am ready to have an amazing day. Today, I am on day 1,400. Girl, 1,400 days in a row of me, your girl, showing up for herself every single day because, see, I made myself a priority. I am definitely important, and self-care is not selfish. It's actually necessary. So are you looking for an accountability partner, girl? That's why I am here. Not only do I show up for myself every day, I show up for you as well, you know, making these daily vlogs. See, I'm going to hype you up. I'm going to gas you up. I will be your biggest cheerleader, making you believe and realize you can do anything you put your mind to because you can. So I know it's someone out there. I know it is. I know it's someone out there who is ready to start their health and wellness journey. So best friend, if I'm talking to you, I need you to do one thing because see, not only am I the queen of consistency, clearly, girl, I'm on day 1400 days in a row. Let that sink it, 1,400, girl, we done reached another milestone. But see, I'm also the queen of walking in place. So yes, girl, go ahead, stand up, stand up right now and start walking in place. Watch this entire vlog. And girl, your exercise, your movement, your activity for day one is done. Pat yourself on the back. Congratulations on making today this day, your day one, you know, the start of your health and wellness journey. Now, girl, you just got to keep going. Girl, start and keep going. Start showing up and showing out because, see, that's what we do over here, shining bright like a diamond. It's time to elevate. It's time to level up your life. We are transforming ourselves into the best versions of ourselves. Like I said before, you are important. So, make yourself a priority. Self-care is not selfish. Sis, listen to me, girl. Sis, it's actually necessary and you definitely deserve it. Now it's time for me to head downstairs and get my workout in. And y'all, come on.
1400 1400 days in a row wow just wow girl it's the consistency for me lord god i thank you so best friend i just got done working out and as always it was a good one but you already know that you know i'm going to come on here every single day and say that because who would ever say they had a bad workout? So first things first, girl, we need to hear from one person on today. First thing, we need to know if you have made the decision to make today your day one. Let us know in the comments, girl, all the day waters out there. Let us know, girl, if you are making the decision to make yourself a priority. I will continue to say you are important, girl, and self-care is not selfish. We are here to hype you up. We are here to gas you up. We're we're here to congratulate you, girl, cheer you on. So let us know right now if today is your day one. And I would want to encourage you and this whole family would want to encourage you to start and just keep on going. And then for my OGs, you already know it's time for you to check in with your workout. Some of the things that we want to know, what time you're working out, what kind of workout you're doing, how long you're going to work out for. Girl, what are you watching? What are you listening to? Because you know we like to stay entertained while we're working out. It just seems to make the time go by faster, at least for me that is. You know, if my mind is not really super focused on the workout, I'm <laughs> focused on my entertainment. So just tell us anything there is to know about your workout because that's what accountability partners do and that's exactly what we are. So just in case you didn't know, when you click that subscribe button and if you haven't, what are you waiting on? Click the subscribe button right now and join the family, the Fit Fasting family. But when you click that subscribe button, girl, we are uh, locked. We will forever Ever be showing up for each other girl i'm your accountability partner i'm your consistency best friend so just go ahead and check in so let me go ahead and tell you about mine so we are on this super sunday this super mother's day sunday so just like i mentioned before happy mother's day to you all out there so sunday girl listen no alarm was set but i did wake up at about 4 30 okay and um i started out the morning just doing my usual this is a non-negotiable for me every single day oh I'm going to do that devotion, prayer, and giving thanks. Lord God, I thank you. I cannot thank you enough for a new day. Lord God, I know today will be amazing. And I just look forward to you just showing me how great it will be. Lord God, I thank you. I love you. Amen. So, of course, I continued on with my devotion. And just in case you are wondering, and if you want to follow along with me, I come on my daily, my morning devotions are on my Bible app, okay? So, once I got out of bed, got myself together, of course, said good morning to my best friends on the steps, I headed on downstairs to start my workout. So, I started out just by doing my regular stretching then i hopped on a treadmill i did my five minute walk and then your girl busted out a 10 miler i did 10 miles today on this beautiful mother's day girl i'm doing it for me i'm doing it yes ma'am i work out on special occasions yes ma'am all other things because remember my why i do it for me okay so got done with my cardio my 10 mile run and it was such an amazing run so got off and no resistance training today i went into my cool down and stretch so what was i watching my entertainment so i stayed on youtube this morning i was watching daily vlogs okay girl i was watching meal preps and also like grocery hauls so i know girl maybe it's because it's the top of the week you know um but that's what held my attention but when i tell you girl i feel so good i feel great i feel wonderful and i am looking forward to the most amazing day on today so real quick you already know what we're about to do go ahead drop three things that you are grateful for go ahead girl we have so many things we can be grateful for but just tell us three things and then also girl just tell me how you're going to spread kindness today um you know ways in which you can just make the world a better place girl even if it's just blessing us with your beautiful smile making a phone call doing a kind gesture just let us know girl in the comments okay and then speaking about the day girl what's on the agenda girl listen i really don't know okay it's mother's day so i want to say i want to be able to kick back and relax and just let the family just kind of do their thing for mom okay but i do have to finish getting us ready you know for the week girl it's the setup for me setting us up for success because i will continue to say i don't want to be feeling overwhelmed and stressed out during the week so i have to do that and then of course girl it is meal prep sunday i know it's mother's day but i'm gonna be in the kitchen just for a little while girl it's not gonna be anything too complicated and elaborate okay i'm saying that but you know what i mean um gotta get our meal prep and done and then girl we just gonna have to see what the day holds but i'm just so happy that i have 
my best friend with me. Just following me along, girl, with the day. We're going to be drinking this water. Of course, girl, as always, we're going to be fasting together. I don't know what the fast is going to look like once again, girl. It's a special day. I'm just kind of letting the family just do their thing. So anyway, girl, go ahead, check in, okay? Let us know about your workout. I'm about to head in here, continue drinking on my water, and then we'll just be catching up real soon. As soon as I open up the door, okay, um, at the top of the steps um, to go get my water, my husband, girl, just blocked, you know, me being able to go to the family room and through the kitchen and everything, girl, you, uh, uh, yeah, he just begging me to go straight on to the bedroom, so, yeah, um, I, girl, I'm in here trying to get my water and can't even do that, but that's fine, so I'm thinking he got something up his sleeve in there, um, so I just came to say, girl, I don't know what this fast is gonna look like on today, it may be just like a 14-hour fast or so, something like that, um, yeah, but you know what, it's Mother's Day, so why not, okay, girl, I guess it's time for me to go ahead, get in the shower, okay, get myself together, and I guess I'll just have to wait in here until he, you know, comes to get me and tell me it's time to, uh, go out amongst the other the family. Okay, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, my beautiful, gorgeous best friend. Friend. Girl, it is time for our midday check-in, and you already know this is one of my favorite times of the day where we can just check in and just see how each other is doing. So I hope you're having the most amazing day so far. But I know we're best friends, but we're also accountability partners. So let's go ahead, sis, talk about some of the things we talk about every single day, especially for you who are on our May Meltdown Challenge. I need to know about your water. I need to know about your steps. I need to know about your fast. So how are you doing with your water? Are you on track to reach whatever your water goal is? And let us know in the comments what your water goal is. If you're behind, this is your daily reminder. Go ahead, take a couple of sips right now because I'll continue to say every day we want all of the benefits of water. And girl, it's a plenty of them, okay? Just look them up. But girl, we want all the energy. We want the glowing skin. Somebody told me yesterday, girl, my skin was glowing. I said, okay, thank you, girl. So also, how are you doing with your steps? Are we on track to reach that goal? If you're behind, go ahead, stand up right now and start walking in place. I will continue to say it every single day because, girl, pretty much I do this every single day for I don't even know how many years walking in place. Stand up right now. Five minutes here, 10 minutes there. Those steps will add up so fast. Just pop it on one of your shows. Walk in place. You literally can get an entire workout in just like from walking in place. And then how is your fast, you know, in a minute fasting? Let us know how many hours you're fasting on today. Are you doing 16, 8, 18, 6? Well, no fasting at all. I mean, hey, it's Mother's Day. Are you on a juice fast, fruit fast? Just let us know, you know, how you're doing with your fast or what you're eating is going, you know, like how it's going on today. And then if you are a faster and about to break your fast, let us know what you're about to eat because you just never do know who may be getting their next meal idea from what you are eating. Girl, we are all here here for inspiration, all of the meal ideas. And then last but definitely not least, probably girl, in my opinion, the most important mental health check-in. How are you doing? No, really, how are you doing? And I say that because this is real life, okay? How are you doing over there? You know, stress management, you know, mental health is just so important in life and just especially on this journey. So this is a stress-free zone. We continue to stay on our unbothered energy sis. We pray, we let go and let God with the understanding and belief that, you know what? Any situation that uh, may have, you know, you thought had, had you down. No, ma'am, it, it hasn't. Girl, listen, no more tears, no more sleepless nights. We are standing on the fact that we know who's got our back. You know what? Praying, let go, and let God. Drop those prayer requests below because I'll continue to say this as well. A family that prays together stays together. And I understand, yes, in your personal life, girl, your home life, but we're a family over here as well. So drop those prayer requests below, girl because see we're claiming it for each other i'm standing there right with you so just let us know anything there is to know that you want to share you know about your morning so let me go ahead and talk about mine girl listen as far as the water 
I have not been uh, really measuring the water on today. I had some as I ran. I am still working on my four, first 40 ounces, so we are drinking water, but girl, I don't even know how much I've had, but I have been drinking it, sis, okay? And then as far as my steps, right now, I'm over 23,000 steps, which you already know it was going to be a high step count day because I did do a long run on this morning, the 10 mile. And then as far as my fast, so as you can see, girl, I broke my fast earlier. It was at a little after 10 o'clock, so today ended up being the day where I just, you know, um, fasted a little over 14 hours, but that is okay. I'll get back to that in just a second. And then mental health check-in, girl, I am doing so good right now. I feel so good, girl, so just having the most amazing morning so far. So one of the things that I did want to talk about, though, of course, we're going to talk about what I've been doing, you know, so far, but as far as, like, you saw me break my fast earlier, and, you know, I just kind of, you know, been thinking that, you know what, I'll continue to say, that's the beauty in fasting. For me, you know, on these special occasions, I'll allow myself, you know, a little leeway that's the beauty in making it a lifestyle. No mothers that a special occasion is not every single day, but I allow myself, you know, times like this to just enjoy and enjoy life and be in the moment. So 14 hours today, but guess what? We'll be back to our regular scheduled program on tomorrow. So no, it's not considered a cheat. No, it's not considered, you know, all the um, negative connotations that it may have. Just understand this is time to enjoy family, you know, the husband and the children have prepared, you know, just like this beautiful layout for me. So 14 hours today with no guilt at all. And once again, tomorrow we'll be right back to my regular scheduled program. So what have I been doing this morning? So aside from, you know, the last time you saw me, of course, you know, I just worked out. I went in there and got myself together. Okay. I did keep my pajamas on, but got myself somewhat together. I cleaned up from my workout and then I went and enjoyed, you know, like a, a little, I'm going to call it a little brunch you know, with the family. So after that, girl, listen, your best friend been working. When I tell you working, yes, ma'am, I've been in the kitchen, but I'll get back to that in just a second. One other thing I wanted to mention before I, you know, mention about the, you know, what I've been doing in the kitchen, it's just that I know um, I mentioned it earlier, but happy Mother's Day to all of the beautiful mothers out there. Girl, I just want to tell you today, girl, listen, listen, we are all out here doing the best we can. And here today, girl, celebrate yourself. This is our day. You know, oftentimes I get on here and I talk about like how being a mother to me is one of the greatest joys in my life. And along with that, you know, my little boy Braylon, y'all's nephew, okay? Girl, listen, he is watching me, okay? And he is definitely a major part of why I do what I do. Yes, it's for me, but once again, you know what? I have have him to live for. I have my family to live for. And definitely, once again, he is a major part of my why and, you know, played a major part in the, the decision, you know, of me wanting it to, you know, change my life around, okay, if you will. You know, wanting to live a healthier lifestyle because I have him to consider. So, once again, happy Mother's Day. We are doing the best we can, girl. No mom guilt over here. So, if he doesn't realize it right now, you know, maybe once he gets a little older, you know, he can really appreciate the fact that you know what boy you got a good mama and so do your children they got a good mama we are all doing the best we can you know so once again happy mother's day to you so let me go ahead and tell you what your best friend been doing in the kitchen okay girl we didn't completed our meal prep for the week yes girl i done went in so you already know i use sundays to go ahead and get the meal prep done and girl when i tell you girl i'm so happy that I got it all taken care of right now. So right now it's actually about 1.30 by the way. So I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and check in with my best friend. And of course, I'm going to show you the meal prep. But I was thinking, you know what, girl, the family is downstairs. Okay. They being kind of loud. And I'm just like, girl, listen, I can't have my best friends listening to the TV and the commotion that's going on down there. And I don't want to do a voiceover. So I'm just like, you know, what? I'm just going to have to tell her what it is. Okay. So I'm super proud that I was able to go ahead and get the meal prep taken taken care of so I will be able to just enjoy the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. So what you'll see downstairs, girl, because once again, girl, it looks so good, okay? So the first bowl that I did, girl, I used my 
vegan um i use vegan chicken okay i just bring a, put a little barbecue sauce on that so my vegan barbecue chicken some yellow rice and then i have some green beans and tomatoes so that you'll see that in the first tray my second tray are my vegan meatballs where i put those little potatoes in the air fryer and then i have mixed vegetables i have like zucchini and squash carrots um broccoli and i sprinkled girl just some of the little leftover uh green peppers okay you know the little ve vegetable vegetable mentally i usually do and then of course you'll see my fruit bowl and you'll see my vegetable bowl with like my carrots and my cucumbers and hummus so yes girl when i tell you i'm super proud of this one and i'm looking forward to it so just in case you're wondering yes girl of course moving forward this week i'll be doing the same thing that i have been doing for the past couple of weeks on this may meltdown challenge just kind of listen to my body and just eating whenever I'm ready, you know, to break that fast. Once again, sometimes it's been 16 hours, some days it's been 23 hours, you know, so we'll just see. But my plan is to every single day just take, you know, one of those bowls with me to work, okay, and have it available. And that has really seemed to be working, be working out for me. And I think I mentioned yesterday or the day before that your best friend stepped on the skin. Girl, maybe I won't step back on until like the end of the challenge. I don't know. We'll see. But the last that I saw, and I will know I did step on yesterday, so I've gone from 135.0 on the dot, and when I got on yesterday, it was 131.4. I know. Crazy, right? So anyway, okay, girl, I'm not going to keep on holding you. Let's go ahead, head downstairs. Of course, girl, I'm going to show you a little clip of the food, okay? Just listen to the music, sis, because once again, girl, I'm not going to be doing any talking, and I'm not going to do a voiceover, so go ahead, check in, though. I pray you are having the most amazing day so far parsis okay let's go ahead head downstairs so i can show you my little meal prep because your best friend girl we didn't need a little something this morning have had the most amazing day from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods I love. Go ahead in the comments, tell me one thing that has made your day amazing. Y'all already know what to do. Show your girl some love. Click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Girl, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!